this new video I'm going to show the progress uh, that I recently made uh, on my DIY MIDI remote controller project. As I was uh, discussing in the previous video, I'm working in the implementation of the display. My first approach to this was to implement small OLED displays, 128 per 74, with the idea to implement one of these displays per each channel. Then starting and working on the implementation, I understood that this was not really the right approach due to the fact that Mackie Universal Control Protocol in respect to the textual information to be shown on the display has been designed in fact to work with one unique display and it was becoming very inefficient to try to manage the textual part, cut it and show it uh, in, each, uh, in each display. On the other side I also asked myself if, if in 2021 it was really the case uh, of working with small LED display instead of a big one uh, so I've started to research and finally I came across to this Nexteon display. This is a fairly big display, 7 inch. Uh, it has 16 bit color resolution, so uh, 65,000 uh, colors. Uh, it's a touch display. It has a very, uh, very good image quality. And even more, it comes with an editor that you can install on your PC and through which you can really configure in a super easy drag and drop way your user experience uh, inside the display which is not just a display but it becomes a real human interface as soon as you have configured your graphics and your experience uh, you can assign to each control inside the display an ID and then through UART so in a very easy way you can control uh, various properties of, uh, of these uh, uh, controls uh, uh, using your MCU. I have to say that the experience is, uh, is very nice uh, because it's very straightforward and very satisfactory. There is a very good and, uh, and well done instruction set uh, that you can use to control the display. It is an ASCII uh, instruction set so it's you know just pure text with a list of uh, very complete I would say commands that you can use to basically control every aspect of your display. So let's start switching on the display. As you can see the display has been virtually divided in eight zones, uh, one per channel. The interface that you are seeing is something that I sketched up yesterday, putting together some graphics that I had found on the net. So again, it's very, very easy to, to implement it uh, uh, into the central area splitted per channel. Uh, I will be showing all the text coming from Cubase uh, through C6 message. So let's run Cubase. So Cubase is starting up. And there you go. As I have already explained in the previous video, the default a setting that is shown is the pan pot one so this is what you are seeing in the screen at the moment let's load a project there we go the project have eight tracks and immediately you see the name of the tracks uh, in each one of the eight virtual zone of the display as i've shown in the last video it's very easy to change the name of the track and see immediately reflected the name into the display and of course you can manage the pump pot and see changing on the display according to the value that you see also inside Cubase and this for each one of the eight channel that you have set up like this as we saw in the other video we can then check on the uh, EQ sets let's set the complete one with two pages we can show the values we can open the editor inside Cubase like this let's switch on the four frequencies like this and then of course as we saw already it's possible to move the frequency and to move the gain and you can see the value perfectly showing inside the display again for another 
EQ value or, or, or the third EQ value like this. Using the shift we can see the entire page of the EQ and moving the page like this we can use the Q and change the Q setting again that you can see in the display in real time. Same for the plugin, same of sorry, the pump pot like this. And there you go. Input gain, input phase. And again we can get back to the to the pump pot feature. Uh, of course choosing the EQ you see we are in the guitar track. We can of course change the track to the drum one and so on to the other tracks for EQ. As I was mentioning, this display is touch. I have implemented a touch feature just for the, for uh, showing. As you can see, touching my name, you can change it, the color of uh, of another zone of the of the um, screen. It is possible to program this uh, touch inter, uh, interaction through the editor provided by Nextion. Uh, or you can uh, prepare it through the uh, editor and then control it with the MCU. I will also show into this uh, uh, screen uh, the counter uh, in the style of the, of the uh, Mackie control unit. So that's it for this session. Uh, I'm very happy of the result and I'm very convinced that this is the right approach instead of the small per channel uh, display. Next step will be to set up uh, the daytime feature to set up the counter uh, and then as soon as I will be happy of the implementation inside the screen I will move to the implementation of the other physical 7 channel plus the, the master in order then to complete the console. If you like this video I kindly ask you to subscribe, to give it a thumbs up uh, and to hit the bell. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video.